Hello beautiful! Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share how I went from a place of self-loathing to self-love. From being a negative, jealous, resentful person to being a positive, loving human being. July 1st, 2016 is when my life changed. When I was overweight and unhealthy, I lived off of sugar. That was my addiction. That's how I comforted myself. That's how I just fed my emotions. I was in a mental fog. I never got enough sleep. I was just a giver and I was never taking care of myself. And it got me to a place where I was very resentful and very negative and I hated myself. July 1st, 2016 is when my life changed, when doors begin to open, when I begin to see the light, this need to change. It started with a phone call from my doctor. I had type 2 diabetes. This was all new to me. It was overwhelming. It was challenging. I begged her to give me three months to eat clean and healthy. That was the first time I did something for me. I gave up sugar. And my journey is almost it's almost three years into my journey. There's been times, I want to say, within the last six to eight months that I've let sugar come back into my life, but not to the point where I couldn't control it. So even though during that time I was eating it, it was more when I was going through a healing period. And I'm going to make a video on that too. Sugar for me has always been a way to love myself. Some of it is just, it was just feeding an emotion. And I continued to go down that path of feeding it and feeding it and feeding this emotion, this loneliness, this lost. I was so lost and I became this person that was negative and I didn't love myself and I just went through the motions. Have you ever felt like that? You're just going through the motions. So I had to start changing my diet. I immediately gave up sugar. And that really helped me on this path of getting out and moving. Giving up that sugar, I was lifted from this mental fog. I was in such a fog. I don't even know how I functioned. And just having that lifted, it took about, I want to say three weeks to get out of the sugar withdrawals. And I would cry, I would get mad, I would get angry, I would get emotional. What helped me in this journey, this is what's so different because I didn't have a connection with God. I didn't really understand God. I've always gone to church, you know, off and on as uh, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. So, but to me, I connect to God in nature. And that's where I started feeling this presence of God when I was out in nature, when I was walking, when I was by the lake, when I was at the park. I began to feel this higher power that there's something more. And I never used to think that God was loving because I didn't understand God. I was afraid of God. To me, God became beautiful and loving and I really felt the presence of God, this higher power within. And it gave me gratitude. I started having gratitude. That's something I didn't have before. You will often have gratitude when you're, you know, in abundance, when everything's going great, then you're grateful. But when you have all this knocking at your door and you just getting hit with one thing after the other and still having gratitude, and that is powerful. And that's what I went through, just getting hit, bam, 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 you know, one thing after the other. And I just kept staying in this state of gratitude. I'm not gonna say I didn't get angry because there's one time I remember getting angry. Why me, why me? But that's part of the process. You might feel that emotion, but then to be able to say, thank you, God, you're teaching me something. I'm learning something through this. That is powerful. That started me on this journey to loving myself as the weight started coming off, as the pounds started coming off. And what's so different about it this time, you know, I've been a yo-yo dieter for as long as I can remember. What's so different this time is that, you know, eating that sugar for the eight months off and on and carbs, I gained some weight back. And I can still look in the mirror and say, hey, I love me, I love what's in here. That's something I couldn't do before. Even when I was toned, I was fit. You know, I was never healthy because I would go on these strict crazy diets. And 
I would look great, but I didn't see it. People would say, oh, wow, you look great, you work out. And I, I didn't see it because I had such a low self-esteem. I felt like I had no self-worth. And a lot of that comes from, you know, my mom, the way she treated me, and my, um, my first husband, mental and physical abuse. That has such a impact on your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. And that's why I think I became such a giver because I wanted to be loved and in order to feel loved, I had to give unconditionally, just keep giving and giving and giving. Even if I was physically and mentally exhausted, I would give to my kids because I didn't get that from my mom and I wanted to give what I wanted to be the total opposite of her. And life will knock you down and you gotta get up. You gotta keep going, you gotta keep trying because if you give up, then you're just gonna stop living and I want you to live. I want you to find yourself. That's why I call myself, I refer to myself as Loving Deb because it's been this journey to Loving Deb, Loving Me. And it didn't start out that way. It started out as just a way to reverse my type two diabetes. And it became something so much more. Just to know that I could give up sugar and become, wow, just start stepping out of my comfort zone going live with evan carmichael listen i mean he helped me so much he he is such a such a great man and he has helped me so much step out of my comfort zone i'm still learning so much about myself on this journey and loving myself more each day and this journey has become a healing journey so i face so much a lot of it is on camera and I'm crying and I'm emotional and I'm releasing that and I release that shame. I'm gonna make videos on everything that I went to to get to this point, to get to me, to believe in myself, to have strength, to have power. I'm gonna tell you it's an amazing feeling to love yourself because if you don't feel that love for yourself right now, I was once there. I know what you're going through and your journey might be completely different than mine and you might have to go I'm not saying this is the way, I'm just gonna share how I got there. And hopefully I can help you along in your journey from the brokenness to healing. It's beautiful and it's an emotional ride and I'm not gonna say it's not painful because it has been beautifully painful. Because once you go through that pain and you feel like you're dying when you're going through it, once you go through that and you get to the other side and you're in this light, you see beauty, you see the beauty in all, in people, in trees and flowers, everywhere you will see beauty. And not every day is gonna be easy because not every day is easy for me. I still get knocked down. So I'm looking forward to doing videos. I don't even know how often because you know, life can be crazy. But if you follow me on IG, Love and Deb, L-O-V-I-N-D-E-B, I am doing, every day I'm doing a video called just for today and it is a message and I never know what I'm going to speak about God will put something in my life and that's what will be on camera that day so I want to thank you for joining me because your support really means a lot to me and I love you big hugs from me keep moving forward have an amazing day God bless